guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a first ever empties video on my channel. Um, I've accumulated this stuff since February, as I can recall. Yeah, February, and I got a lot of stuff. A lot of them are mostly like body care stuff, just letting you know. Um, but yeah, I will let you know if I will purchase it again or if I didn't really like it, like what my thoughts were on it, etc, etc, etc. This is not going to go in any particular order. I'm just going to go from what I see in front of me. The first thing that I got finished up is this Woosh Shower Jelly from Lush. And I did mention this in, I believe, my February favorites. I really, really liked this stuff. It was so unique from any like shower gel that I've ever had before. It's kind of like, I don't know, jello. So you just take a little tiny amount, put it in your loofah, put it underneath the water, squish it together, and it turns into like this like foamy shower soap. And I just love the smell of this. It was like the most amazing smell. I would definitely repurchase this again. And I also do have the other one that they come along with in this line. It's in a purple color. I forgot that what that one was called, but I have that. Next up is this Rituals Yogi Flow Indian Rose and Sweet Almond Oil Shower Mousse. Now this again is another weird thing. I've never seen a shower mousse before. Um, I got this in my February glossy box. Um, it was like their Valentine's Day edition one. And I really, really like this stuff. Me and my boyfriend were like obsessed with this. And it just leaves like the most beautiful smell on your skin. And it's so soft. Like it's so very soft. I would definitely repurchase this again. Next up is this Frosted Cranberry Room Spray. Now I really like this stuff. It really did leave my house smelling really good. And I'm the type of person that like wants to make sure my house smells good 24-7. So I will like light candles, spray like crap all over my house. Um, yeah, I really like this smell. Frosted Cranberry is one of my favorite winter smells from Bath & Body Works and I will definitely be re ugh. I will definitely be repurchasing this, repurchasing this again. Oh my god. Next up is this Wild Apple Daffodil Shower Gel from Bath & Body Works and there is a little bit left in here. It was just really hard to like get it all out so I just kind of gave up. So yeah, I got, I used this because it was like kind of like a springy scent and I really liked it. Um, would I repurchase it again? Maybe, I don't know. They just always have new smells that I kind of just like, like to try out everything. So maybe, but I really did like the smell of this. Next up is this Soap and Glory Smoothie Star Breakfast Scrub. I finished this, you guys. <laughs> it's like all gone. But this was in my February favorites and I really, really like this stuff. It smells so good, like maple syrup. Ugh, especially in the morning, it just smells so damn good. But I would definitely be repurchasing this again. It's really nice on your skin. It's not too harsh and it's it just leaves you smelling really good like all day. Next up is this Spackle Supercharged Fortified Under Makeup Primer from Laura Geller. And I had this for so long. This like this tube right here lasted me almost a year. Um I really really like this stuff. It was super hydrating for my skin. And I don't know, it made my makeup look really flawless. So I would probably definitely repurchase this again or also try out the different ones that they have in their line of their primers. All right, next up is this London Tulips and Raspberry Tea Triple Moisture Body Cream from Bath & Body Works. I absolutely love this smell. Mm, it smells so good. Like this is such a fruity smell and it, it does have like, you know, a, a floral scent to it too. But I just love this. It's very moisturizing on my skin. It didn't feel too greasy and this lasted me a long time and I love the size of these and look at the packaging. So cute. So yeah, I would definitely be repurchasing this again when I see it again. Yeah. All right, so I have another lotion and this is the Midnight Pomegranate from Bath & Body Works. I had this for a long time as well. And it kind of has like that kind of dark, it has a dark scent to it. It's like a fall scent. This is something I would wear in the fall. But, you know, I have so much stuff from Bath & Body Works, it's like not even funny. If you guys would like to see a Bath & Body Works collection, give this video a thumbs up or comment down below because I have a lot of stuff. But anyways, I just wanted to use this up and I really like the smell of it. It just made me feel so like, I don't know, cozy, I guess. And I liked using this at night time before I went to bed. It just made me, made me fall asleep, I guess. But I really like the smell of this. Next up is the Soap & Glory Sugar Crush Body Wash. I really like this stuff. I got this in like a Christmas set. 
but this smells so good. It's like a sweet lime flavor. I would definitely be repurchasing this. It was just so nice. And I love the Soap and Glory line. Like, I will buy anything from Soap and Glory. Next up is this Let the Good Times Roll. Uh, <laughs> Let the Good Times Roll. I think it's a cleanser. Yeah. A cleanser from Lush. Now, it's empty, obviously. But I did not finish this because it does have an expiration date on it. And I, by the time the expiration date, date hit, I still had half of it left, so I would definitely not be repurchasing this again just because I felt like it was a waste of my money, but it did work for my skin and I did love the scent of it. And Lush Cosmetics are really awesome, but I just wish they had a smaller size because this is humongous. Um, yeah, And I'm saving my containers up so I can get like a free face mask, so yeah. Then another thing from Lush is this Love Lettuce Fresh Face Mask. Um, this was small and I did get to finish it up. And I really did like this one. Um, it really did leave my skin feeling really nice and, you know, refreshed. And it really did clean my face up too. Um, I really want to try out different face masks from Lush, but as of now, that one is probably my favorite. So for a candle um, from Bath & Body Works, I finished the Hot Buttered Rum. This was part of their Christmas collection. It just smells so, so good. Um, as you can see, I hit the bottom and I have like burn marks all over it. But yeah, I really like this candle. I love all the candles from Bath & Body Works. I just feel like they go by so quick, which is like the downside of it all, but I still love like the sense of it. And I always go for like the two for 22 sale. I never buy them separately ever. I always use coupons, so keep that in mind, use coupons. Makeup, I finished up this Benefit Erase Paste. I was in the shade number one, which is fair. Still had a little bit left in there, but I kind of gave up on it. Um, my thoughts on this are kind of 50-50. I did like it and then I did not like it. I kind of felt like it was a little bit too heavy sometimes, but it did leave my face a little bit brighter underneath my eyes, um, but it was really, really thick. So I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Finish this Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. This was a like deluxe sample size. Got in one of my subscription boxes. Now, I did like this, but I would not repurchase it again. Um, I don't know. I just would not repurchase it, but I did like it and then the smell was nice too. Next up is this Revlon Colorstay Liquid Eye Pen. Now, I just got rid of this because it, it dried up. Like, I don't know. It still works, but it's like really dry. But I did like this when it was like not dry. So I would probably repurchase this again, but I really wanna try out new liquid liners from the drugstore. So give me some opinions on what your favorite liquid eyeliners are. Moving on to the next bag, which is my Walmart bag. Um, the first thing I finished up is this White Barn Renew and Refresh Scented Candle from Bath & Body Works. And this smell is so amazing. I don't know, the wicks were so weird, so it kinda just like looked like that. So I still had so much left, but it's okay, I will definitely be repurchasing this again. Alright, so next up I finished this Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Cleansing Facial Wipes. Um, I did like this stuff, but I would not be repurchasing this again. I really like my Neutrogena ones, so these were okay. I then finished my Contact Lens um, Opti Free Replenish bottle. I really like this, I use it all the time because... <laughs> I use this all the time because obviously I wear contacts and it just like gives so much moisture to my eyes. I love it so much, so that is something I will never stop buying. Next up is this other white barn candle. This is in the scent Apple Flower. And I really like this scent too. It was really springy and it really did make the house smell really nice. Right, Ray? Yeah. <laughs> I finished my Herbal Essence Hello Hydration Conditioner. I love this stuff. I always purchase the coconut flavored one or coconut scented one, but I really like this one. Yeah. Finished this Herbal Essences Honey I'm Strong Strengthening Shampoo. This is humongous. I just love Herbal Essence. It's my favorite shampoo brand. I will never stray away from it. But yeah, I love this one too, and I love mixing these two together. Even. The last thing I finished up is this Raspberry Meringue. Bath & Body Works Deep Cleansing Hand Soap, and I love this smell. I just love the um, winter smells from Bath & Body Works, so I will definitely be repurchasing this again. So yeah, that is everything in my April Empties video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Anyways, if you guys want to see Bath & Body Works um, collection, let me know down below or give this video a thumbs up. 
and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!